All right. So Vaudreview, Big Bomb, Widowmaker. Okay, so you see they have a fair of mercy. You can just like, they don't know you're on Widow yet unless they saw you and checked. There you go. You put one shot. They know you're at main, so they're never going to peek that again. So you have to take a more aggressive angle. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Keep your focus on those two. That's the most important. Nice. Good. Keep going. Keep going off angles. Ah, uh, that's kind of risky depending on the elo. Like, I would probably not have used grapple right there. I probably, it's a 12 second cooldown. You could drop back to your team there. I probably would have just came up here and had this, this complete angle controlled right here. Accomplishes similar things because nobody's on the high ground anymore. It's a fair mercy. And then you get a better angle on uh, their back line here too. Then you save your grapple. If Farah looks at you, then you can grapple out. But um, like this, this can work because nobody is here. But like, I think the better option would have been the other one, but it can still work. And I think Overwatch is all about like assessing your options. It's so hard to say this is the right move. This is the wrong move. But like, it's always good to ex realize like the different options you have and work off of that. Nice shots. All right, so take a new angle here. Yeah, no one's contesting you. Your team has a lot of space, so you can honestly go wherever you want. This is where, like, no matter where you go, your team's kind of winning. You're just cleaning up, like, a numbers advantage at this point. Now, here's where I take an aggressive angle. Good. I like this. Go all the way to the right or something. I actually wouldn't wall this early, to be honest with you. Because usually when you capture this payload, you'll have like almost 20 seconds. You just want to fight. You're going to have like 20 to 30 free seconds to push the payload, probably up to like here or further before the other team recontests, especially because they're just coming out of spawn. They spawn all the way here. I feel like this this infrasight won't get as much value at this point. I know you're trying to look for more picks to continue staggering, but like with so many shields in the way, that's going to be tough. Um, so like when I do when I review like Widowmakers, it's like it's so easy to just say like you got to hit more shots. So I'm trying to like focus on non-mechanical things that you can do to add more your more value. So, you know, um, you know, other than hitting more shots, like thinking about stuff like how to use your infra sites and stuff like that to your advantage to add more values is, is more important. So like it's too early for an infra site. You already spent like half of it just moving to the right here, and they have shields in the way, and they probably noticed you. Like, yeah, your team knows where they all are, but, like... Okay, that Widow just... That Anna just walked into you. Okay, I think you're grappling out to escape. You could look for some heals on your team. Um, you don't know that person's top right right now. That's fine. All right, so your team looks like they won the fight again. You're going back on high ground. Just... Oh my god, is this the same issue with the chronic reload syndrome? Oh, I think it is. Okay, stop doing that shit. I think, don't worry, you're not the only one who suffers from it. All of us suffer from chronic reload syndrome. Guys, you know, you know who suffers from chronic reload syndrome the most? Zarya players. Oh my god. Every time I watch a Zarya player below like a certain rank, it's like one secondary fire or one right click, reload. Shoot one, reload. Shoot one, reload, bruh. Nice shot. Okay, take a new wide angle here. Your team is pushing up that right side? Yeah, this is fine. I don't need, you don't need it. I know you're trying to grapple to get for the sense of urgency. But you might not need to. I think you're good, though. Like, in the highest ranks, if you grapple to reposition, you better hope that they're, like, not on you. Because if um, you grapple for, like, not even, like, a new high ground, you grapple from, like, low ground to up the stairs to save, like, one and a half seconds. Like, two seconds. Like, if you're going to grapple aggressively, like, make it, make sure it's valuable. Like, that, from here to here, arguably, because your team has this angle and you need to get there ASAP, that's hard to judge. Like, what if you came up to this corner and then there's, like, somebody up here? You're not sure yet, right? 
and then like they jump you and then you don't have your grapple anymore like yeah think about grapple in that capacity too as an alternative unpunished here but you know as you climb that shit got nerfed from 8 seconds to 12 seconds right okay nice good aim Oh, you're good. You guys got the point. You don't have to burn any cooldowns. Nice shot there. No one can hide from my sight. Okay, down a downtime, a downtime infrasight. I mean, they don't really have another widow to challenge you. Could be good. You can scout the Sombra to see if she's going to early EMP. It's okay. I probably wouldn't have infrasighted that early. I mean, it depends. I think, I guess the cart was coming around the corner. That was fine. Okay. Moving on from that. That guy's coming for you. Yeah, you stayed there a bit too long. I think if you're going to stay there, probably keep a, keep a Venom Mine close by. So if the Lucio jumps you, you might have a chance to get back at him. The reloading hurts you? Yeah. There's just uh, a lot of reloading in between shots. I see a lot of Jigglypuff stuff right now. Okay, so you take this angle. They don't know you're here yet, so you got a first clean shot. Now they know. Now you got to be careful. They're going to look at you. You got to move now. All right, just back out. Wait for your team. That's fine. Are you going to switch here? Oh, no, you're going to play Widow this game. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just caught myself picking my lips. God damn it. I do it too much. Okay, they know you're here. You're just farming for what? Infrasight here? Get some body shots. Alright. Pathetic, no kidding. Uh, nice. You have sight, so you see him. Nice shot. Look for the Anna. Wait for her. Okay, she's dead. Look for the squishies there. Nice shot. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to be mad if you looked at the ball. Especially because you had walls and you saw them coming out of spawn. Uh, you can pretty much stay here now. Nobody can contest you. Ball's going to have to contest cards, so you can just stay here. Take your time with the shots here. They are not going to look at you because they're all tunneled into the cart. This is where you don't have to reposition because, yeah. You're fine. Good sight lines. Nobody to contest you. Hopefully your team stays alive. Take your time on these shots. Nice. Ah, uh, you lost the fight. That's okay. Okay, wait for him. You're checking, checking. At this point, you probably should have swapped comps. I agree with that. Okay. They know where you are here. If they're, once again, not contesting you, you don't even have to take that aggressive of an angle here. You, uh, uh, you don't have to play this close. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think you could have stayed exactly where you were in the previous fight. You probably could have just played there. Because if you look at their comp, the only person that can really jump you is like Ball or Sombra. And like, guarantee you their Sombra is focused on trying to stop your Ball on cart more than anything. And Tracer has to climb way too high to get you, so the only person to contest you would be their ball, but their ball is also on point, so I think you could have played back left and just chilled there. Until they realize they're going for you. Thank you. What is everyone doing? We need to what the is everyone off. doing? 60 seconds remaining. Okay, I know you hear the ball here. There you go. Yep. Nice. Good damage on her. 20% to all. I keep thinking red is enemy. You can help dynamite and clear some of the mines for your team here. Okay, good. Oh, you can... I think you should have killed that Baptiste. Uh, 
He was low. He should have just focused on him right there. They have a mega health pack here. It'll be tough. This guy's not looking at you. I believe. I believe. Nice shots. There you go. Take your time with these shots here. Oh, uh, uh, okay. All right. So uh, the biggest takeaway from that was definitely the the options, right? Your options when you play these hit scan heroes and the angles you take are very important. Um, basically, what what I was saying as uh, as it was happening is what still stands. That's the biggest takeaway. You don't need to reload as often as you think. That's number two. And um, yeah, I feel like you. you the times where like you didn't need to take a new aggressive angle, you did. Like you grappled into their truck and you missed a couple times too. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of awkward. Now you're like close. Like the biggest, whenever I come out as Anna, I think the enemy widow is playing so far away that I know nobody can touch her. And then she just holds that angle for free. Like I think you could have stayed far back there and like just kept popping. Like the one fight that you were popping back there, you unfortunately didn't win and that happened sometimes. But he probably could have doubled down on that and done it again on the second fight. Um... There's also maybe a small opportunity to go on like on a really cheeky flank, but it's so risky. This is the type of stuff that you do on hit scans if you're confident. Like they only work if you land it. They don't work if you don't. Like if you come over here and sneak up here because nobody is watching this room, you go over here and then you like snipe their support or something. That'd be crazy value. But then you have to bank on the fact that you hit it because if you come up here and you miss those shots and whiff, then they turn on you because you're close and you run, then you're kind of screwed because you can't go out this way. It'll be tough to escape this way. Your basic escape is going to be here. Then you have to come all the way back. You waste a lot of time if you don't hit that shot. So those are gamble plays you make on uh, hit scans like Widowmakers or Hanzo's or Asher McCree. If you like like that, you need like sometimes you need to do that. You need to be a playmaker on DPS. I'd say the biggest playmaking role is probably tank, but like it's one of those things you can do um, to help your team like capture points. It's what I do like on Anna like. Remember on King's Row, I was like, I mean, they're kind of backing up. They're not really paying paying attention to me. I just snuck through hotel, went for a flank nade, and then we ended up winning the fight. Um, if you notice your team is struggling over and over again, and nobody nobody's changing it, it's like, the worst is when you end up on a team and no one knows how to play make. Like, you just end up stuck, and like everybody just keeps repeating and going to the same spot over and over and over and over again. Like, no one's trying something new and, and, and pushing through. So you guys were stuck here for a while, and... If your teammates weren't doing something new, you, you could have maybe came here and done some cheeky shit as an option. Not saying that would have been the correct option, but it's just something to think about, right? Um, like if I have Baptiste window and like my team is literally losing every every single fight and then they're pushing up and holding here now and we're just stuck here. Like as Baptiste, I've done it once where like I'll just come all the way here. <laughs> literally behind them and then I use my window and just solo shoot them from behind while my team comes in and then the enemy team's like what the fuck is this guy doing back here they're forced to back up and look at me and then it gives my team some space to move in you know it's one of those like fuck it literally nothing's working you gotta try something funky here yeah the correct one would have just been like uh, get off widow earlier flanking on third yeah that's what I mean that spot's kind of tough if you can get the pick, sure, but it's a gamble. Chat when targeting pharmacy was a priority? Probably mercy. It works if it works. Wise words. Let's see smash. Watch a little bit of this and then... Nice. Pressure her away from the sky. Perfect. Get a big dynamite there. Nice. Go for another dynamite here. Over that Arissa shield. There you go. Okay. A good angle here. This Zarya is right in front of you. What is that Zarya doing? Oh, Alright. Good punish. Come around. This is a very aggressive dynamite that no one's looking at you at that's okay that's good keep farming that bob big nice shots watch out for the pull 
Okay, just jiggle peek this. That's good. You literally got Bob. That's good. All right, your team is controlling this area. You could probably play where Widow is. Or you know what? Or just play here. That's fine too. Like they're not touching you. Play low with shields or play high. Like Widow took this. Wid Widow is controlling this angle, which is fine. I was gonna say, since you weren't up here, somebody's gotta stay up here, or else like half of the team could just come up here and drop and take control of this space. But your Widow was holding here, so you could have stayed here. That's fine. But just remember that. Um, your job is not even just DPS. Like any hero in this game, like you want to control as much of the map as possible based on where you are. So if you're going to control this, you do not want to give up this area because this is how the enemy team comes and controls it. Sometimes I'll see when I'm playing offense, and we're trying to round this corner. Usually there's Sigma or some shit or their Genji plays up here. They have two people holding this. So then we lose this angle. Like you need to always control that. Your Widow was on it, but then your Widow dropped. And now nobody's holding it. See, you're all here. Your Widow backed up here and now this is given up. Now they have like free reign to like go all the way around you. I wonder what happens here. Could this be it? Is this how you lose this point? Yeah, you guys all backed up. Like they just took it from you. Okay, you do have alts though. You might be able to salvage it because you have alts, but. Because you won so many fights and you have alts, like it looks like. Oh my god! You got owned! You never thought of it? That's really helpful. Info. Right there, you call it the backup, so we all have to cover. Yeah, if like you're backing up, uh, you call to back up around this corner, so you have cover. That's okay, but you gotta always make sure someone's up here. And you're not running a Sigma, and your Zarya and Ryan are on the ground. So, like, I don't know. I'd say, like, you and Ash probably sh or You and uh, Mercy should have controlled this. If your Widow wasn't here, once your Widow backed up, you and Ash should have controlled this. Like, even just peeking out here and dynamiting them, it just deters them from taking the space, right? Six months subbed to this Papega. That's me. Thanks for the six months, Yoshi. How you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're well. Thanks for the resub. Uh, yeah, it's always it's also you didn't realize she did that's why in scrims. It's like yeah important to uh, Calm and make sure in solo queue you can't trust that's why Sigma's will just always take the spot anyways Why do rank players never hold high ground on gas station if you have control like gas station is pretty neutral I think if you can control this corner, it's even more powerful arguably than um, Than uh, the gas station gas station gives up too much free reign on the ground You can start there as hit scans, but I think like contesting on the ground might be more important um, depending on your comp though, uh, as a healer, I always felt like my tanks were way too exposed in this high ground spot. Like Sigma, where the fuck are you standing? But it makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, chaos. This is a crucial portion of this part of the map, I would say. But anyways, fuck. Like in in like sporadic and solo queue or scrims. It's not pro play. Like this isn't pro play. So there's. This is not set in stone. I think optimally you should hold that, but it's not to say you can win. You can't win team fights without holding that spot. Like you fully demonstrated, you won here. But you know, it only works if everybody does their role correctly and holds that spot correctly. But anyway, see, no one's holding it again. You should probably go up here. Okay, that's good. You and Ash, or you and Mercy. Look at that. You got fat dynamite. Get the side peek here. Do a lot. Oh, you got sucked into that. Oh, they got sucked into that. Oh my God, you fell. You're living. Are you dead? I think he just loses. He has to concede. They they had a good grab, which kind of like disassembled that fight. Okay, we'll watch one more team fight. Overwatch Twitter. Yeah, the voice actor for Soldier for the Italian version passed. I saw I saw it on the um, creators Discord a few days ago. One of the Italian members mentioned it and asked if they could do something about it, which is they took. And they messaged, and they took out, the, sent out the message today, which is good. You get me riled up. Rest in peace. Get you up. Okay, I'll watch one more fight, and then we'll uh, go over to uh, Witcher Three. Guys, right, so you kind of just have to wait for your team. You can't go out first as Ash. They have too much control of the space here. When you come out on second phase, Route 66, and teams are controlling this, which is good. It's tough to come out of this choke without. You need a shield tank to go first. If you walk out here, you're literally dead. So your shield tank's going down here. Um, 
which is tough, which means they, you have to make sure they're not looking at you before you come out, or else they'll get a first shot on you, and you kind of just get screwed. See? Look at that. You kind of dance out, and you're like, ah, oh, shit, nobody can come out. You kind of just have to go out. Oh, you're using Bob as a body block? <laughs> oh, God. This is so suboptimal. Wait, your Bob got a kill. Wait, don't drop on him like that. Oh no, and you coach gun there. You're stuck on cart, but they're not turning on you. If you did this shit in a GM game, like, you'd get so screwed so fast. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was a bit of a desperation play. I mean, do I really need to explain? That was kind of, I mean, you know it. You watch this own, your own review and you're like, yeah. Like, if I were you here, I would just hold this. Once it looks like the enemy team dropped down, like, you don't see them up here anymore, which means you can stay up here for a bit. And if anything, probably round the corner here and, like, try to shoot their back line as their DPS and trust your teammates and, and, um, and your tanks to deal with the cart. Like, right here. I know you see this. That's fine. Shoot it a bit, but instead of backing up, you kind of just have to go forward. They're not even looking at you. They're not looking up. They're all tunneled in here. Let's say you walked right here. Beep, 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 Oh, look at that. That would have been juicy dynamite. Kill, kill. Win the fight. But it's all in hindsight, of course. Instead of dropping. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just stayed up here. No one's contesting you anymore. You saw their threat was up here. They're gone. I mean, they're here now, but if you took this wider angle, you'd break LOS of them anyways. If they wanted to shoot you, they'd be forced to wide peek to shoot you, which would expose them to potentially teammates of yours to take him down. You know what I think? I think playing like Valorant helps, helps a lot of people understand, or like CSGO or any sort of other shooter games, understanding angles a bit more dynamically changes how you approach things. Like obviously shields are in this game, which can change how you take the angle, but the general idea stays the same. Your sight lines... All that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, you offensively coach gunned. But, uh, yeah, I think in general, uh, probably consider your angles a bit more. Um, that's, like, the biggest takeaway from your Ash gameplay. How to improve Overwatch? Improve at Valorant first. <laughs> or just play other shooters. If you feel like you're stuck in Overwatch, like, try a different shooter and see how, like, the approach is in that game. Like if you, because if you play other shooters like Valorant, CS:GO, like you'll, you'll understand the importance of angles so much quicker because you get punished way harder in those games, which could translate back to this, right? And hopefully you, uh, yeah, that's basically the takeaways from this. Hopefully you took some valuable information away from this. Chat, what rank do you think this gameplay was? Usually that's what we do at the end. Give it a little guess. Give it a guess. Gold, gold, diamond, silver, diamond, silver, plat. Okay. Bronze only because you're nice today. <laughs> All right. Tell them what your rank is. I see a lot of gold. I'll say the majority of you guys think gold. The answer is... You know gold because Kiki Weather is an SVB pugs with you. Kiki's a sub in this channel. On the stream dynamites were too good for gold give them a little bit higher the answer is plat slightly mixed from silver to plat enemy bap was a master's tank and you are yourself a low plat dps all right there you go like i feel like mechanically you've got some good shots it's just uh just consider everything outside of just shooting it'll change your approach sometimes sometimes that's all that takes somebody earlier today like I remember a few weeks ago, I reviewed a, a Doomfist player's VOD, and we're all just like, holy shit, this guy's got some crazy Doom mechanics, and he was only plat. And then earlier in the stream, he said he climbed 500 SR in the last two weeks because of what I told him. Just like changing your, your priorities um, on who to focus. Because I said, you've got the mechanics down. You could literally hit GM with those mechanics, but like your decision making is holding you back. Like, no troll. That's it. All right, plat is the answer. All right. 